guys, it's Hafa, I am back again and this is going to be an update of my 12 Doctors of Christmas project pan that I'm doing with a whole bunch of other people as well, though of course will be linked down below so you can go and check them all out. I have actually finished something, not that that was actually the point of this project, this was more to have a bit of fun with my collection and play with stuff and find out what I liked and what I didn't like. So I will go through the items one by one and we will see where I'm at. I was for my pen. Um, the first thing for what moisturised me was the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. Um, this is not 100% accurate. The sprayer on this bottle is a bit bad, basically. It doesn't work very well. So I had finished up my NYX Matte Finishing spray so I actually transferred a bit of it into there um, but I've almost finished using that anyway so it is right there now that's where we were last time so we are now so um, yeah I seem to be using more of it even though I haven't been wearing makeup very much but as I said not hugely accurate because I did pour a bunch of it into the other container uh, the next one was for Donna Noble. We have the Girly Cosmetics Firecracker Red, which is actually more of an orange than a red. I have worn this, um, not enough for it to have made any visible dif difference. Um, it's very soft though, so it's actually starting to bend slightly. Um, I do really like this colour. I, I like orange toned lipsticks, so there is that. Uh, the next one for unit was the MAC Trio in the quad container. Um, I haven't actually used this a lot. I've been using different eyeshadows. I did use this colour here today to deepen my crease. Um, it's got like a fairly deep dip there, but they probably don't look too much different to how they looked last time. Like, honestly, I have so much eyeshadow. Uh, the next one is for Sonic was the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick Crayon thing in Tempting Turquoise, um, which is just a really nice bright turquoise. I think I used this under my eyes once, but that would be it. Um, I don't think I've used it. I've actually been really bad about wearing makeup this month. Like, really, really bad. Then we have, for Celery, we have Cargo's Green Bay which is a light green eyeshadow. I'm actually wearing that under my eyes today. I put down one of the other items that is in this first and then put this over the top of it because it is a very light kind of colour, um, which was the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in, in the Nude, which was for the Oud, which is just a nude coloured eyeliner. So I put that on first and then put um, Green Bay over the top of it. For Gallifrey I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Stereo Rose. I basically use this as a blush topper. It is way, way too much really for a uh, highlighter, although technically I'm using it as a highlighter today. Um, but yeah, it's it's super pretty. I, I really love it. It's one of those things that will probably be in my collection for years because it's there's so much of it and I only can use like a little bit at a time. So um, I use it a couple of times as a blush through the month because it literally has that much colour on me. It's you know, super pale. <laughs> uh, then we have the So Susan Lip Dome in Black Current. I have worn this a couple of times as well. Again, not enough to, for it to look any different. This is actually a really stiff product. Um, if it was creamier, it would go much faster, but it's not creamy at all. So We have for Sarah Jane, uh, the uh, Susan Lip Dome was for Susan. Uh, for Sarah Jane, we have the L'Oreal Nude, not Nude, Clear Lip Liner, which is uh, I have used this um, a couple of times. I didn't reach for it very much because I was finishing off another lip liner which I actually finished today which is from another project. So that was really good. 
For favourite doctor, which for me is number nine, I have the NYX Purple Mascara. Um, this doesn't show up as purple. I'm wearing it on my bottom lashes. I put it on my bottom lashes every time I wear makeup, even sometimes when I'm not really wearing anything other than mascara. It looks really purple. It doesn't show up purple. I have not been able to find a white primer, like eyelash primer, to see whether that will actually make it more purple. For Ice Warriors, we have the NYX Diamond Lust Single Eyeshadow, which is just a very shimmery white eyeshadow, if it would focus. Um, I concentrate my brush down here. I actually used it today to, I sort of did a cut crease, and I used it to set the cut crease. Um, or I sometimes use it as an inner corner highlight. I didn't actually do an inner corner highlight today. And the product that I finished up was for Time Lord, and that was the Oil of Aloe Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. It is all... Oh, there's a little bit in there I can't get out. But it is all used up. I finished this off this morning. Um, I probably could have finished it off yesterday, but I forgot to use it. So that is another product done and out of my collection. Uh, last time I added in four new things, um, I put in four K9, I put in the L'Oreal Infallible Flashback Silver, that is actually what I am wearing all over my lid, it is actually pale purple, it is not like silver, it's actually purple, so that's actually what I'm wearing on my lid, I actually really like wearing this on my lid, I like this colour. Um, I'm not going to see pan on this for a very long time. Um, but I do find that you need some kind of um, lighter base underneath it. Although it would be interesting to see what it would look like over tempting turquoise. That might make a really interesting mix. The other one I put in was Hello, for Hello Sexy was the Monomola Sexy Red Lip Tattoo. I have not reached for this once. I have no desire to reach for it at all. So this one is actually going to be decluttered. Then I put in for Impossible Girl, I put in the Raven Matte Lipstick from Clean Colour, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. Um, pretty much the only time I've worn it. I might have worn it on one other occasion. Um, but, you know, it's a black lipstick. It's not really an everyday... Well, it probably is for some people, but for me it's not an everyday lipstick. I actually quite like it, although I do find it really needs two coats to get completely opaque. It's not like um, completely opaque on the first coat. There is that. Um, but it does dry down matte, but it doesn't feel overly drying. But there is transfer. It is not transfer proof. So that is that one. Only been used once. And the last one was for Amy, and this is the Boss Lady from Lacquer & Co, which is just a nude lip crayon. I haven't actually reached for this, probably because I focus more on my Kate nude, which I'm trying to use up. Um, so I don't know that this is going to see much action or progress, but it might in the next month. I'm not going to add anything else in. The finale for this will be up Christmas Day, day after Christmas. Um, I will actually be going to the cinema on the day after Christmas to see the Christmas episode of Doctor Who. They're actually showing it at the cinema, so that was going to be really, really cool. So that is it for the update of the 12 Doctors of Christmas Project Pan Collab. Don't forget to check everybody else out down below and let them know that I sent you. If you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button down there. Click the little bell if you want notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.